Okay, I've got here Minitab 19, the latest and greatest version of Minitab. Um, and I just want to go over a few of the basic features on this. Uh, if you've used Minitab before, uh, the look of this is a little tiny bit different, not a tremendous amount. I will say, right at the get-go, that all these pull-down menus, if I scroll across here on my toolbar, all these toolbar are all these pull down menus are almost identical maybe under view they're a little bit different but otherwise they are the same as in previous versions of mini tab um, the basic setup of this uh, is when this thing opens up you have a space down here for data this is would be a worksheet and notice right here it says I've got worksheet number one opened and up above here right now there's nothing displaying other than the fact now that it tells me by the way these are shortcuts now that weren't here before I can open up a brand new worksheet by saying control in by the way if I come down here and press plus I can open up another worksheet now I'm in worksheet number two uh, so that's a bit of a shortcut uh, you can open up a new project by doing Control plus Shift plus N, or you can open a file somewhere on your computer and it's Control plus O. All right, so you've got your worksheet area. You've got what was referred to in the previous versions as the sessions window. And up in this space right here, will be the display of, if you ask Minitab to give you descriptive statistics, or now, this is new, if you ask it to give you graphs, they will display in this little window up here. Uh, what is new in this version is that there's this window over here called a navigator, and the navigator will keep track of what you might have open, so it will uh, allow you to find worksheets. I could have 10 worksheets open here and find myself lost after a while. But under this navigator tab, I can find them. And uh, it'll show us what graphs we've generated and it will show us or help us navigate through all of the output that we might have produced. So let's just go and have a look at the basic toolbar. Under the file tab, Here's another way you can open, oops, you can, sorry, you can create a new project, you can create a new worksheet. So now there's, th there's three ways of doing, of creating a new worksheet. If I click on this, now I have three worksheets open. So there's three ways to open up a worksheet, a new worksheet, now not existing data. I can press Control N. I can go up here to my file menu and do new worksheet or down here on the bottom of this ribbon here I can I can hit the plus sign and here I am now I got four worksheets open okay so many different ways to create a worksheet now difference between a worksheet and a project a worksheet simply contains the data that you're working with you can save your work simply as a worksheet. So if I come back in here in the file and I want to do a save, I can save my worksheet as, and I'll give it a name and I'll you know, indicate where on my computer I'm going to save it. So that's fine. Uh, or I can save my work as a project. Now, the difference between a worksheet and a project is that when you save your work as a project, it saves however many worksheets you happen to have open. At the moment, I have four. I know there's no data in there, but let's suppose that there was. If I save my work as a project, it will save all my worksheets. It will save everything that I've generated up in the sessions window. It will save all the graphs that I might have generated. Now, as you can imagine, project files are going to be a lot bigger than worksheet files. So generally speaking, in this course, anything I give you is going to be a worksheet. And the file extensions are different. And in fact, I can't remember what the file extensions are now for Minitab 19. It used to be that projects were MPJs and worksheets were MPJs. 
TWs, but I think the extensions are a little bit different now. All right, so you can save your work uh, as either a worksheet or a project. And when I say save worksheet as, by the way, if I had my cursor up here, I've got it up here in this window up here, and I hit File, notice that I don't have this option here to save it as a worksheet because the way Minitab works is it saves wherever your cursor is currently active. So I am down here active in worksheet number four. I know that's highlighted here in blue. And once my cursor is anywhere in this worksheet, I say File and Save. Now I'll see Save Worksheet As. So if you can't find it, it's because your cursor needs to be somewhere down in the uh, worksheet window. All right, so things that you're likely to use in this program is to open up new worksheets, and we've just seen that there's three ways to do that. You can open files that already exist on your computer and you can open up projects or you can open up worksheets and then you're going to save your work and as I said generally as worksheets unless you've done a whole bunch of stuff and you want to keep track of all the graphs then I'd save it as a project but as I said just remember that um, it's going to take up more space so under the edit tab right now um, I don't really I don't have any data in here so yeah, okay, you're only going to, some of these uh, commands are only applicable to a worksheet. And notice how I have to have my cursor down here before I can delete cells or copy or whatever. Under the data tab, uh, some of this comes up in, pre in other, window, in other uh, videos that I've created. Sometimes we might want to stack and unstack columns. Uh, sometimes we're going to sort data. Um, you might want to delete rows, you might want to change data type. Now this doesn't happen very often, but sometimes you might have data in here that you want it to recognize as numerical data and for some odd reason it doesn't, or you want it to just recognize it as text data or whatever. And notice now when I climb, I've got this highlighted, but nothing is coming up because I don't have any data in my in my uh, worksheet. Uh, change my change my data type. Yeah, hang on now. Where the, okay, change data type. You can pick columns and then you can uh, pick how you want this data to be. So it could be text, it could be date, it could be time, whatever. Usually, we're not really going to use this function very much. Um, <clears throat> under the calc tab. As we'll see, we will use some of the functions in here, particularly the random data. And for what's coming up now for us next week, we're going to be using a lot under the probability distributions. Under your stat tab for this course, we're using um, display. Descriptive statistics is a big one. Uh, you can use graphical summary, but I do, generally don't tend to use that. And down below here, we have something called normality test. We will use this one um, to some extent in this course. Uh, other than that, like this is not a traditional statistics course, so we're not using t-tests and that kind of stuff. Uh, we're not going to use anything in regression or ANOVA. Mostly what this course is, what you're going to be using in this course is the um, tab here that says control charts. We'll do a fair amount of this one. And we're going to use some of the tools here under the quality tools. Uh, otherwise, we're not going to use too much in that one. Under the graph tab, we'll use a fair number of the graphs here. Uh, so that's your basic functions. And then, of course, you know, you get your copy and your paste and whatever. Now, this little box right here, is really useful. If you've generated a graph and you want to go back and generate the graph with different data or you know different parameters or whatever, if you click on this baby it will take you back to the last dialog box you had open. So um, you know if I was doing I don't know something like uh, control charts and I want to go variable variable charts for subgroups we will use this an X bar and R, okay, I open this up, I do something with it, this will come up later in the course, 
and I want to go back in and do that again, then when I hit this uh, little window right here, it takes me right back to that same window that I had open. All right, now I'm going to stop this video now, and then I'm going to come back in and do another one where I'll uh, pull in some data and we'll do some different things with the data and we'll see how the displays work here in the new Minitab 19.